Yes, you can add Netflix, you can add Hulu, you can add Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Spotify, whatever your favorite streaming app is, you can add it to the gaming mode on your Steam Deck. Now, I've been researching this the last couple of days, typing in Google, like, can you add Netflix to Steam Deck? And you know what answers I got? Put, just go to desktop mode and type www.netflix.com. Yeah, I understand that you can do that. That's great. But I don't want to do that, all right? I don't want to switch to desktop. I want, I want Netflix right next to multi multiverses and, and Fall Guys and Cyberpunk. I want it looking so good with the poster art, with the, the hero art and everything like that. You know what I mean? I want it to vibe with the overall aesthetic of Steam Deck and you can make that happen. If you want to jump ahead to how to install it, go ahead. Step number one is just that way or actually it's that way, right? Go that way. All right, but I just got to let you guys know I'm not super technical with all this stuff. But it's pretty easy. It's just simple steps to follow, all right? It's actually very similar to the way that you install the Xbox Cloud Gaming that Microsoft put out to put out an article on how to do that. Let's just jump right into it, all right? We've got seven steps to go through, and it's pretty easy. Here we go. Step number one, let's go to desktop mode, all right? Go to power, and then scroll down, hit desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, take the time to connect a mouse and a keyboard, all right? Either by Bluetooth or if you've got a dock connected by USB, it's gonna be so much easier to copy and paste and to select things. You can do it with a virtual keyboard and with the mouse, but it's gonna be a lot slower, all right? So go ahead, get that mouse and keyboard connected. Step number two, we're gonna download Google Chrome, all right? Go to the Discovery Store, type in Google Chrome and hit install, very simple. Step number three, we're going to add a line of code to the console. So in the description of this video, I put all the steps there. And on step number three, you'll find a link to an article. And that article will show you there's a line of code in step one that you need to copy. So go ahead and copy it. Go to the Steam Home button, type in console with a K, and then press the paste button. It'll paste automatically. All you gotta do is press enter, and then it should show you just like a fresh blank line, all right? Go ahead and close out. You don't need to do anything else. Step number four, go to the Steam Home button, go to Applications, Internet Browsers, right click on Google Chrome, and then click Add to Steam. Another way you can do it is you can open up Steam, go to Games, and then Add Non-Game to Steam, and then scroll down the list, go to Google Chrome, hit OK, and bam, on the left side, you should have Google Chrome there. All right, step number five, we need to append the launch options to your streaming service. So let's go back to the article. All right, step number three, there's another line that we need to copy and paste for your convenience. It's in the description of this video. Go ahead and copy it. We need to go back to Steam, go to Google Chrome, right click, properties, click on launch options where the text is and scroll all the way to the right where it's got the two at symbols. Click to the right of the last at symbol, hit the space bar so you need some space and then right click paste all right make sure there is that space because if there's no space between what you pasted and the at symbol then you're going to get an error when you try and open it up in game mode so make sure there's that there's that space now for this example we're going to start off with amazon prime video and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the right and you're seeing quotations it says https whatever your service you use.com so what we need to fill that space in is with the streaming apps browser address all right so for amazon we're gonna type amazon prime video and then it's gonna open up the browser to where you can watch amazon prime videos copy that address and then we're gonna go back to steam go to launch options go in between the quotations and delete whatever's in there and then paste in between the quot quotations the website address all right very important that you have those quotations there now you're gonna do this for every single streaming app. So what I've gone ahead and did for your convenience, I've pasted all of the website addresses for like Crunchyroll, Spotify, Apple TV, whatever, because they're all different, right? It's not just like DisneyPlus.com, Spotify.com, Apple TV.com. They're all a little different. So um, I've gone ahead and, and put all those in the description, go ahead and just copy them and then paste them between the quotations, all right? So for Amazon, we're gonna take the Amazon website address, copy it, paste it and launch options in the quotations there. And then we're gonna go up, just change the name, Amazon Prime Video, 
and close it out. All right, and then just before we get on to the next step, just make sure that it works. At this step, you can press play and it should launch the Amazon Prime Video Browser. And the next step is the fun step, all right? This is step number six, where we can add our titles and our artwork. All right, steamgrid.com is a good place to find all of the artwork for all the, the apps, the games that you want custom artwork for. What I've gone ahead and done for your convenience is I've put it all in a Dropbox folder that you guys can download, all right? So there's a link in the description on step number six, and it says title and artwork. Go to the website address, click the link, and it'll give you the download um, options to download all the artwork. I've got the artwork for Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV, Crunchyroll, Disney Plus, Netflix, Spotify, Twitch, and YouTube. That's a good little starter pack. I'm pretty sure that we all use those streaming services. You'll need to change the icon artwork. You'll need to change the grid. You'll need to change the poster, the logo, and the hero artwork, all right? For me, I'm a little OCD. I need everything looking good. All right, the last step, we need to configure the controls in game mode, all right? So we've gone ahead, we've already confirmed that it works. We've already got all the artwork and the titles all set. Let's go ahead and switch back to gaming mode. Because we open it up in desktop mode on Steam, it should show on the home page. If it's not showing, go to non-games and then scroll alphabetically to whatever it is, Twitch or Hulu, just scroll to the H's and then click on Hulu. All right, don't press play yet. Go to the right and see the little controller icon. Go ahead and click that. All right, you're gonna switch your configuration to gamepad with mouse trackpad. So you can use your right mouse pad as a mouse when you're in the app, all right? Now, what you need to do is go to edit layout and then click on triggers, find right trigger, and then where it says like full press, all right? And then scroll to where it says mouse and then select left click so that your right trigger is left click. This is what works easiest for me when I'm in the app and I'm scrolling with the mouse. So I'm not like taking my thumb off and pressing A. I can just scroll to whatever I wanna select and then hold the right trigger or click with the right trigger like left click. That works easiest for me. If you guys have any other configurations, I would love to know down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any problems or you need to troubleshoot anything with me, please join our Discord. I've got the link down below and you can just hit me up. I will do my best to troubleshoot with you. I'm not like the most technically savvy with you guys, but literally it's just simple instructions to follow. Lots of copying, pasting, and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty sweet. I mean, going through all the apps looks great on my home screen. I know that it's not like 1080p, full HD, it's still 720, it's still awesome. And if I'm laying in bed or if I'm traveling, I'm not gonna care that much. I'm just gonna be stoked that I have my favorite streaming apps to watch. I got Spotify to listen to. Um, it's pretty sweet, so let me know down below what you guys think about the video, if it helped you at all please consider subscribing to this channel. The Light Dan Academy is a community made up of gamers and photographers. I love photography, but I also love gaming. And this is where just it all meshes and mixes and we love focusing on tech and different things and stuff. So definitely subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below what you thought about the video and if it helped you guys. I've also got a video coming out soon. I'm gonna give you guys my impressions of the Steam Deck after the last three, four weeks. I feel like I've done enough with it to give a solid opinion of it, gaming with it, tinkering with it, and, and just doing all kinds of stuff with it. So um, I'm gonna get that video out to you guys probably in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned, subscribe, like this video. I'll catch you guys later. Aloha.